Hello everyone, it's uh, day 37 of our 40 days with the Celtic Saints and our journey with them is, is starting to draw to a close although um, listening to various people they've really enjoyed um, these days as we've shared many of these characters from our past and our history uh, not just as a nation but also locally here in Banwell and Kongsbury and today is St Columbinus not to be confused with, with um, St Columba of Iona. St Columbinus um, was someone who grew up with everything, a um, bit like Francis of Assisi or other people you may know. They, he grew up with everything, um, good looks and good life and good fun and everything else. And in, yet his life felt as though it was not quite complete. There was a, a deep ache within him and a deep hole that wouldn't be satisfied by simply the goodness of life. And he set off and uh, became a monk uh, in the Christian tradition, um, ending up at a place called Bangor in Northern Ireland, which was a great monastery at the time. And from there, he learned his spiritual life and set off across Europe, where he set up a number of monasteries and shared the love of Jesus wherever he went. He ended up in a place called Bobbio in Italy. And uh, in Bobbio, it was the only real monastery that, that kept his rule of life throughout the many years to follow. Others um, adopted a, a, a gentler rule of life under the, under the rule of St. Benedict. But uh, the people of Bobbio kept this rule of life. And as part of that, there was a real desire that it would be close to creation and the love of creation. So seeing the creator through creation as well as in the gospels. And this is a strong uh, tradition within the Celtic church. Um, you could almost say creation is the, the fifth gospel. In fact, Columbinus went as far as to say, unless you understand creation, you don't actually understand the creator and uh, therefore it's important that we are outside today even though it's starting to spit with rain um, overlooking the prayer garden and the paddock here and uh, feeling the wind and the autumn coming upon us so what can we learn from columbinus well he was a great inspiration um, to those around him um, particularly at bobbio and it's thought that uh, uh, centuries later uh, a person called Francis of Assisi himself, someone who was the uh, the top of the tree in his own community in Assisi, gave it all up to follow the way of Jesus and ended also up at Bobbio. And it's thought that he may well have learned from Columbinus's community something of the fifth way of the gospel, of walking with Christ in creation and hence Francis's love of animals and love of the whole of creation. The great poem of St. Francis, um, Brother Sun and Sister Moon, seeing all the elements as well as all the um, plants and the animals as part of one world uh, in love with God and of which humanity is part. Beautiful, um, if you ever get a chance to read it. But in the Celtic tradition, they talk about something called green martyrdom and that can sound a bit strange but the idea is that you take the image of a plant or a vine growing up a green trellis and the trellis is actually a rule of life a spiritual discipline to our journey of faith and the trellis is there to help it's not the point of the journey and so it's not the thing we focus on, but without it, the plant can't actually grow into fully who it's meant to be. And this is quite helpful, I think, um, as a way of understanding why it's good to have a spiritual rhythm to our life. It's so easy to offer our arrow prayers to God when we're in trouble or we want something or something to happen for ourselves or for somebody else but a much deeper way of life is to get into a rhythm of maybe morning prayer or evening prayer doing our bible study watching these blogs or what or maybe listening to a song a day or whatever and one of the 
interesting things has been during this time of lockdown for for many people they have actually found this helpful the rest of life has been quieter and simpler and so it's provided time and space for this and as we move back into a busier life with schools going back this week and um, people being encouraged to go back physically to work it would be so easily to forget the trellis and to forget the spiritual rhythm and the spiritual life in amongst the business of it all and that could be true just as much for ministers as it can be true for everybody else so Columbinus reminds us of a care to have attention and he stands in a great tradition with Aidan and Cuthbert choosing Lindisfarne as a place to live out the gospel and to hear the voice of God with the tide coming in and the tide going out a rhythm so have a good rest of the day god bless for now bye for now